Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different twists and turns as well as surprises in this film by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one great thing about this film is that we do know that J.J. Abrams is really going to evolve the characters of Kylo Ren and Rey in this story. And a lot of people are very curious about exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to utilize all of the different twists and turns in this film that is of course going to be used to fulfill the Skywalker saga in a very unique way by J.J. and Chris Terrio. And that's the one thing that I think a lot of fans are concerned about on whether or not the revelations may be a little bit too over the top. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for this film. Now specifically a description of Kylo Ren and his Knights of Ren traveling inside of an abandoned Imperial base on an unknown world. Where it's described that Kylo and his knights are on the hunt for something of great value. The next describes Kylo and his knights coming across what is described to be an abandoned vault that once belonged to Emperor Palpatine, where it said that Kylo uses the force to rip the steel doors apart to get inside. As they enter, it's described to be a dark place with many LEDs, indicating that there is a control room inside of some kind. The next describes Kylo pressing one of the buttons on the control panel, only for a large Palpatine hologram, hologram to appear in a similar fashion to how it was done in The Empire Strikes Back. It's said that in the hologram of Palpatine, he reveals that he has found a way to eternal life, and plans to create a bigger and better empire with a younger body. It said that this hologram was recorded well before his death. It's also described that in the hologram, Palpatine explains that his annihilators hold Death Star 2 technology and reside on a world in the Outer Rim. Additionally, as Kylo and the Knights watch the hologram of the late Emperor, the hologram also goes on to reveal that the Beyond is a location that has allowed Palpatine to find this great power through the road to eternal life. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this and as to why this lines directly up with what we just went over a couple of days ago about the spirit of Sidious being used to a certain extent in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now we do know that they are doing incredible things with this movie and they are looking at Star Wars Dark Empire as source material as a form of inspiration for telling the story of Episode 9. Now in this particular sequence, I want to go over the hologram. Now it's described to be a gigantic hologram, just like the one that was used in The Empire Strikes Back where Palpatine is talking to Darth Vader about Luke Skywalker and how he poses as a threat to the Empire and to the Sith. And what I think is so very interesting about this is that this is yet another nod by J.J. Abrams to The Empire Strikes Back. Now sure, they did this already in The Last Jedi by Ron Johnson with a gigantic hologram of Snoke as well in The Force Awakens. But this is more around the lines of how it was done in Empire. Now I digress, what's really intriguing to me the most though is what's revealed inside of the hologram of Palpatine when Kylo Ren and the Knights of Ren discover this inside of the abandoned Imperial base. And this is when Palpatine reveals that he has found a way to eternal life and plans to take on a bigger and better empire, to create a bigger and better empire through a younger body. Now, again, like I say, this is very similar to Dark Empire, except there's no mention of clones here. There's no mention of it being basically a clone version of Emperor Palpatine, just a younger version of a certain character or whatever have you. Now, you guys may recall that in the Dark, in the Dark Empire comic, Palpatine even tells Luke Skywalker about his essence transfer technique and even tells Luke, perhaps I could even be as you. So really, Palpatine can go into anybody's body, and that most likely explains as to what we heard just yesterday about the spirit of Sidious being this red cloud, right? This red cloud-like being that hovers over Matt Smith's body, which is said to be a dark acolyte in Episode 9 and as the new villain in The Rise of Skywalker. Now, the other piece that I do want to go over is the Annihilators residing on a world in the Outer Rim, 
These new weapons that were stored away by Palpatine are described to hold Death Star 2 technology. Basically, they're portable Death Stars that are able to destroy the surface of a certain world, however, not destroy the planet or obliterate it in its entirety. So what I like so much about Episode 9 so far is that not only are they really basing this movie off of Legends material, but they're really using a lot of source material from Dark Empire, one of my favorite comic lines in the 1990s. I mean, it's it's perfect. It's just great. It just feels right. So the fact that, you know, Kathleen Kennedy admitted a couple of weeks ago, I'm not quite sure if this was a cover-up, but she did say that, you know, they had Palpatine in the cards ever since The Force Awakens. Now, whether or not, you know, that is the truth, we will never know. That could be a cover-up for all we know, and they just brought Palpatine in because of The Last Jedi Backlash, for all we know, right? So, nonetheless, guys, I'm very, I'm very happy about Palpatine's return and what they're doing with that character so far. And anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.